Looking into space. Do you like to look out into space? There are many things out there in space. We can see only some of them. There are the sun, the moon, and many stars. They are very large. They seem small to us because they are very far away. There are many things in space that we cannot see. We cannot see them because they are very far away. Our eyes can only see things when we get or receive light from them. But our eyes cannot get any light from things very far away. Then, how can we see things that are very far away? We use a telescope for that. A telescope is like a big eye. So, it takes in a lot more light. And it makes things that are far away look bigger. We can see many more stars with it. We can see the sun up close and the moon, too. We can see the planets and many stars. Long ago, people did not know much about the stars, the planets, or the sun. Then, a man named Galileo built and used a telescope. He found out many things using it. He saw four moons around Jupiter. He was the first to see sunspots. They are parts of the sun that are cooler than the rest of the sun. In Galileo's time, people thought that the sun goes around the Earth. Galileo told them the sun does not go around the Earth. Instead, the Earth goes around the sun. Some people don't just study space. They go into space. These people are called astronauts. This term comes from the words astron, meaning star, and nauts, meaning sailor. Astronauts train long and hard to go into space. They work underwater to feel what it will be like in space. The first person to go into space was a Russian named Yuri Gagarin. An American named Neil Armstrong was the first man to walk on the moon. You could be a star sailor, too. Do you know that there is a layer of gases between us and space? It's called the atmosphere. People who study this layer are called meteorologists. Mr. Jackson is one of them. He can tell what the weather will be like. Will it be hot? Will it be cold? Will it rain? Will it snow? Will it be cloudy? Will it be clear? Mr. Jackson knows it all. He likes to study the wind, the sun, and the clouds. He can tell us what the day will be like. Then we can make our plans. If we know it will rain, we may cancel our picnic. If we know it will be hot, we can plan to go swimming. If we know it will be cold, we must wear a jacket. 
We should thank the meteorologist for all this. Here is the summary of the lesson.